I would not like uh, a, a trenchant Islamic family moving in next to me. And how, I, I, how would I'd you know? How, how would you know the depth of their religious I know belief? The culture, James, and this is the. But problem. how would you, you spot are it, Phil? That there is a genuine issue. I sit very, very much in the centrist position. I'm, I'm a member of a, a very progressive uh, pan-European political party. Um, I. I fully accept that, you know, there are problems with migration. Uh, and I think that that's where I'm coming from, because I genuinely believe that, the, you know, the liberal left, uh, well, not so much, but just the over-liberal. Well, do you, can you, can you just co- tell me what those words mean? Right, OK. People like yourself... Well, that, that doesn't tell me what the words mean. What, what, what do the words well, mean in, if, in when you use them? Liberal, liberal, in yes. the sense of basically... Uh, w- wanting, you know, you know, full human rights at every stage uh, of right. uh, political engagement, but only for humans, um, which is ideal. Don't yes. get me wrong; it's an ideal, but it's a it's it's a false ideal, and that we can it can not possibly reach. So, so what can't we reach? Like yourself, what can't? I am going to have, insist you have, that you explain the words okay, that you use swept, because you've you've, ma- you've made it about me. People, well, I'm saying liberal people have swept... Yes, but you, don't, you haven't told me what liberal means, except... Under, under the no, we never talk about uh, anything else, Phil, no, in this no, country. No, no, no. Well, no, I'm sorry. You've swept down the carpet. We insane, haven't swept it under the carpet, Phil. In fact, today, the phone into the phone in today... That is not a problem. No one said there isn't a problem. There are people drowning in the English Channel, Phil. That's a, that's about as big a problem as humanity can conceive of. that is a huge problem, I agree. So what does liberal mean, Phil? My my centrist friend. Okay, <laughs> overly liberal, James. Well, you, you, get, you, you can't tell you, me what overly liberal means unless you, you tell do, me what you what does liberal mean. That someone who is concerned about non-cultural immigration, if you like, what does that, that mean? What does non-cultural mean? I mean, uh, James, if I'm literally having to explain everything I say to you, but, you, you know, you do this and this is your, you know, mode, you know, of operation. Well, then you knew what operation. to expect. You must have given it some you thought know, before you person, rang in. You can't person, tell me what no, liberal no, 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 means. No. What does non-cultural mean? It means, you know, if people say, for example, I have a Polish family live next door. Yes. I might even not know that they're a Polish family because they blend in. You know, but they okay? speak Polish. Now, if you have, if you have but people they speak who do Polish. not blend in for whatever, it could be any uh, European uh, um, uh, uh, migra- migratory family, if you like, or whatever, right. uh, or, or community. It doesn't matter. The point is they blend in. This how do, the how do they blend and in? If they, if they They've got their own shops. Because you don't notice them. You know, James, I mean, this is ridiculous. This is the problem. You can't see the, the problem you create. What is the problem with non-Polish knowledge. immigrants? I know you had a conversation with a, uh, a Christian who objected, uh, you know, to homosexual uh, issues and blah blah blah, and you went through Leviticus and Numbers, That's correct, pointing yeah. out, well, why don't you accept that? You would never do that with the Quran. Oh, I have done it with the Quran. Have. No, you haven't. Yes, no, I, I have. You, I have. Well, I think well, the we'll best back example. Back. Uh, the be- Phil, why? What? I mean, but you must appreciate Phil. It's turning into a game of. It's turning into a game of gammon bingo. This, mate. So just pause and listen for a minute. I'll tell you. House. So I think the best example I can give you is when people were complaining about the Quran being set fire to, I asked a caller if he would object to someone having it on their computer and pressing delete. And the, the consequences were similarly hilarious to a Christian trying to use Leviticus. So, and, and years and, and a while ago, you also went on about someone who was objecting to um, Islamic practices and you, you made a conversation. His name was Richard and you brought in the, uh, the sock guy uh, on the plane. That Richard, was nearly 10 was years ago. Every person, is, every person who is, James, you are... That was nearly 10 years ago, Phil. deny that. But you, it's obfuscation. So, so here we are on the radio the, the talking problem. about why the country has spent all week talking about Gary Lineker, and you've come on and said it's because there are people that don't blend in. No, I've said it's because pe- uh, people in the media will not acknowledge. What, what does and blend that was in why mean? We almost brexited because you drove what? swathes of people, normal people who were just concerned about immigration. Right. You drove them into the hands of the extremists. Okay, and and that is the problem, and that is the problem across. But extremists throughout. use language like Our "blend in," don't they? Are toxic. Phil, and I'm going to keep you on the line we... until I can get a word in edgeways, and I'm going to insist that you explain the language that you've used. So I want to know what it is about a Polish family moving in next door that lets them blend in in 
the way that... Well, what families don't blend in, Phil? I, well, I'll be absolutely honest. I would not like uh, 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 a trenchant Islamic family moving in next to me. And how, I, I, how would I'll you know? How, how would you know the depth of their religious I know belief? The culture, James, and this is the. But problem. how would you, you spot it, Phil? That there is a genuine issue. What about what? But what, what, what would it be, James? Phil? Again, I, I need I need to what ask you some recently, more. Recently I need to ask you some more questions, again, Phil. We're well, talking about you and your imaginary neighbours, all right? So we can go back over my greatest hits of gammon baiting if you want, but I think it'll be boring for people who haven't spent as much time watching my YouTube clips as you have, which is considerably more time than I have, actually. So what is it about your imaginary Muslim neighbours? What do they do that makes them undesirable neighbours for you? Because, look... There is a cultural difference. If, but my know, questions it, are really straightforward, and everybody else, example, James. everybody can hear me dissonance. talking. What do they do, you, these imaginary neighbours, that makes you, them undesirable? Can, well, they're imaginal. So how, how they're, you know, ima as you said, they're uh, imaginary. So how can I really state exactly what I'm Because you know is, that you don't want to live next door to them. What is it that these imagina imaginary neighbours do that you're confident a Polish family would never do? You know there are Polish Muslims. Well, they're, they're, they're do they English blend Muslims, in, James? That doesn't make the point. Do they blend English in, though? Do the Polish do Muslims? Anything about their Bible? You keep it talking, is the fanatics Phil. In all, it is the fanatics in all these situations that steal the show because they are. The Polish Muslims the blend in, Phil. Don't care. But if you do not acknowledge the Polish that, Muslims uh, blend in, Phil. There's a large swathe of the, the silent majority the, who are. The Polish Muslims blend about, in, Phil. Pardon? The Polish Muslims blend in. It all depends whether they were abiding by, you know, strict uh, Islamic practices. And how would you tell? How would you tell? So how would you, you tell understand? that? How could you tell that? But just from living next door to them. I'm not going to go down this rabbit hole, James. This is quite ridiculous. Mate, and you've you come know, on the radio and talked to me about so people smart, you wouldn't want to live next door wrong, to, and I'm asking why? Why? Caused, why, I, Phil? I am totally... I don't, what I, would I, the neighbours do? What would the imaginary neighbours do that would make uh, them undesirable? bone in my body, but I am a culturalist, James. <laughs> Say that again. I'm not prepared... Say that I'm bit again about the racist bone in your body, because some people missed it. I don't have a racist bone in my body. But you don't want to live next door to brown people. No, I... I do have a culturalist phone in my body, James. Culturalist? What does that word mean? Culture? A culture no, culturalist, how, you said. Well, as, as in racist, James, for goodness sake. I'm just well, using exactly. it in the same manner. <laughs> yes, exactly, you are. You're not supposed to say that bit out loud. What? what? Well, that, what you're, that you're basically being a racist, but calling it culturalist instead. No, I'm not being a racist. There is a huge difference. Right, so you, how, what would you, these would people your, do those, that makes them undesirable neighbours, Phil? If you see that, then it's your Well, you can problem, show me, Phil. They're living next door to you. And you such they're living next door to you, country, Phil. James. What are they it's doing? What are they doing that makes them undesirable neighbours, Phil? Apart from being brown. Well, well look, uh, let, let's, let, let me just shifted a little bit. I wish the you'd SMP answer one of my questions. You don't know I, what I'm liberal means. I'm trying to answer it, but you won't well, What do they do? No, you I just literally said, let me shift it. That's not answering. I That's don't. shifting it, Phil. These are your words well, that you, I'm playing back to you. you what you, do the imaginary neighbours do? Enough, look, I'm fortunate enough to live in a very kind of um, a typical, uh, you know, English, you know, uh, small town. What does you know, English mean? I don't, I don't <laughs> have to suffer. I don't have to suffer cultural, um, you know, if you like, shocks uh, on my doorstep. Like what? Uh, uh, well, I don't, I mean, I'm being uh, absolutely honest. I don't want to see women having to, we you know, cover up. Right. Uh, you know, no Western woman naturally covers What if they're up, Polish? And we wonder why these other women do. What if, it's, what if they're mean, Polish? It is, that is cultural, uh, pro, uh, essentially, uh, indoctrination. And if you can't recognise that, that is the problem. Well, That's, it's not a problem. I'm not a fan. Problem. I'm not a fan of face veils. But I wouldn't have a problem living next door to somebody who wanted to wear one any more than I'd have a problem living next door to someone who wants to wear flip-flops. Well, it, just how it, it, it probably would matter how many were there, James, Whoa. and just how religions, our religion, okay. how religion religiously if you like they abided by their doctrine okay you know, i mean so it's the face I'm masks sorry, but the, 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 and the, the point is you will not acknowledge that people do have a concern about that i, I acknowledge it by asking racist. what the concern is phil and now we've got there now you don't want to live next to women who wear face veils
I don't want to live in a country where women are subjugated. No, I no. don't. So you want to and introduce laws? You, you want to introduce laws telling them what they can and can't wear? It's quite staggering. There's no cognitive dissonance here, give, Phil. Give, what what you would know, you do? I'm not saying for one minute that all Muslims are, you know, like that. But the fanatics like are, what, Phil? as in the Christian fanatics. Like what, Phil? Like, what do you mean, like what? You said, I'm not... So, well, this you... is just the strangest conversation. You keep saying things. You said, I'm not for one moment saying that all Muslims are like that. And I said, like what, Phil? And you said, what I'm do you saying... mean, like what? How can you not understand? Lot, just calm down, down a bit, Phil. Slow there down. Are, there are a lot of Christians and a lot of... who You would not know they were Christian or Muslim. Right. That's the point. There are an awful so they're lot, blending in. They're nominal. They're blending they're in. Nominal. They're blending, they're nominal. And this is what causes people, um, you know, stress. Because Face you know, fails. We all, we all conform, we all try. There is a norm, and that's another thing. The it's norm still, has been lost. Yes. There is a norm. Can you describe the norm like to me, Phil? Reckon. Yes, yes, the norm is, like, for example, you know, at a school, uh, at a school, the norm is a school, out, you know, um, uh, outfit, you know, uh, school uniform. That's a norm. So you want and everyone to dress the same? Uh, no. So what's oh, the norm, okay. Phil? Uh, I, I mean, you know, if you, if you down a little deviation, bit. if you standard, study standard deviation, you'd see that the norm yes. encompasses quite a range. But it's the, you know, it's the standard deviation. Okay? What's the norm? And outside of that, outside of that, there are the extremes. So this doesn't make now, sense. What is the norm? No, I know, OK, James, it doesn't make sense to you, but that is the problem. What is okay? the norm? And you cause the problem. What I the cause norm? the problem. What's yeah, the norm, you Phil? What, you what, what's the norm, Phil? That there, is, there are perfectly decent Phil, stop repeating yourself and tell me what some of these words mean. About immigration. What does the norm mean? Uh, the norm is the, what people feel, you know, uh, uh, comfortable. And I, for, I, think, I would not consider, you know, skinheads in bother boots the norm in, address, in, in, in addressing in society, okay? I, that kind of where I would not consider the norm in, in English society. Right. Um, uh, that doesn't so, help so me much. That's an extreme. No, it doesn't. But the point is the norm is broad. Well, what is it, it then? Is Just put still, it into, put it into still, English words. Uh, 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 James, I'm not. I'm not going to go down this. I know but you, what you, I'm you, saying. You I'm keep sure objecting to me, asking you the meaning of me. the words you well, use. You know, you, you, uh, so, what's the norm? Uh, so, let me run through some of the words that you've used. All right, people should blend in more. Polish people are all right, but Muslim people aren't. No, I, uh, you know, you're, you're putting words into my mouth. No, these are all say, words I'm, you've I'm said. Quite sure, I didn't say they should blend in more. I oh, said, this is oh. what, all I said is people, I, I mean, people, there's a tape. If you blend in, if you blend in, yeah. then you, you're not so... Then you can live next door to Phil. If, if you blend in, you can live next door to Phil. Justifiable. You keep interrupting not, me when I'm interrupting you. I'm running through the words that you've used. You definitely use the phrase blend in. Can we agree about that? I probably did use it, but, but not in the sense that you just used it. Okay, Sorry, so what yes, sense I did you use did. it? What sense did you use it in, Phil? Well, I'm saying if you blend in, you yeah. are not noticed. That's the point. Yeah, so what does if it mean, you blending blend in? in? Like, I, I've lived, James, I've lived oh, in four Phil. different countries in my life. Can I life. give you a tiny little bit of advice? And, and Would you mind? Yes, you, please, I, I think no, do. Obsess, obsess a little bit less about people who are trying to promote harmony. Try not to be so frightened no, of things. No, that's my argument. You're, no, it's you not, Phil. You think no, you're it's trying not. to promote harmony. No, no, harmony, no, no, no. You want everyone to blend in, Phil. You want everyone uh, to blend in. Just relax. Seriously, uh, pay attention. This comes from a place of love. You've said yourself that you're nowhere near <laughs> you all of the things. Guy, James. Or, or you well, really you said are. you were a centrist. You're hilarious. So you're you, hilarious. All of the things that you said yourself you have no personal exposure to, you don't need to be frightened of. James, all I'm saying is, you know... Everyone's heard you, Phil. Everyone's said. heard everything you've said. Imagine, I'm just telling just you, you imagine. don't need to be so scared. T just, you, well, you just answer me one question now, James. I'll try. Just imagine that we were nuked. Britain was nuked. Oh, my Or a large part was Britain nuked. And we had to go yeah. overseas for when we'd hoped that other countries would open up their borders to allow us in. Yeah. OK, now tell me, would you go to a theocracy? Would I go to a to theocracy? Honest. 
Yes, would you go to Afghanistan? Would you go to um I'll go Pakistan? where I speak the language. To... I don't know what point you think you're making. I'd go, you go, I'd go, I'd go, I'd go, go to, to Australia because I've got just friends there. That question. You just answer that question, okay? Just tell me, and then tell me what, what well, how, would you how, make that decision. How, if you, if you had you a choice, Stop James, talking and let me, answer, let me answer the question. I'd go wherever was safe. Yes. Well, uh, OK, fine. You'd go wherever you're safe. But given the choice, where would you go? Give, you, you've got a choice of Europe, or you've got a choice of going to Iran. Greece. I'd go Syria, to Greece. You know, I'd go to Greece. Other I'd where go would to you go? Greece. You'd go to Greece? Yeah. They're not a bad place. I, I would kind of agree with that. Well, I mean, what are we talking problems, about now, bad. Phil? What do you think we're talking I'm about I'm just now? trying to point out in the most simplistic terms something yes. that you resolutely refuse to acknowledge. What, what, and what am I resolutely refusing to acknowledge? Differences. There are cultural, cultural differences, and in some countries the main cultural uh, driver, if you like, is religion. And that causes an awful... And uh, if you don't mind saying, before Brexit, Greece is the, the issue religious. of immigration was totally conflated because most so people... there's an awful lot going know, on in your head. And I don't... In, in, I, immigration Phil, from, the, from okay, Europe. Phil. They were concerned about immigration from outside of Europe. Well, why did they vote to leave Europe, then? Because it was totally conflated by people like you who made out. But, but I was, was constantly no pointing it out, Phil. I, I mean, one, you know my viral no, clips. No, you, you watch them on YouTube. You remember the position. guy who rang in you to say that. Phil, uh, okay, Phil, James, Phil, so I've, Phil. I've, I've, I've said I've said what I said, and, and you can rubbish it for for all you want. But I know I haven't I'm rubbished anything you said, Phil. Stance. All I've done. Very, uh, yes, I'm, I know I'm, you are, Phil. Yes, and I hope I hope all your neighbours may all your neighbours blend in, Phil. Ah, you are sanctimonious person. You really are. May Cheerio all your neighbours blend in. Yep, and yours. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Love to the family.